I decided that I was gonna take a little impromptu scenic drive to see all the fall colors because I just can't get enough. <laughs> I love the fall. I really love all seasons, but it seems like the fall is one of my favorites because the air is crisp, the leaves are changing color, and it's just a time for me of like reflection. I'm gonna go on a little walk through the forest to a little waterfall and ah, just enjoy it. waterfall walk was a success. <laughs> so now I'm going to hit the road again. I've spent so much time in these mountains over the years and they always fascinate me. There's always more details to notice, new sounds, new colors that come and go with the seasons, and the reminder that nothing is permanent. I have found where I want to camp for the night. Does it get any more yellow than this? <laughs> I'm planning to set my tent up over there. So in this little patchy area, and then there's like a stream over there and so I'm gonna go sit by the stream right now and just have a snack and relax. The fall is a season of reflection for me. I can sense the winter coming and I usually start to ask myself just questions about how the year has been, am I proud of the work that I've done? and what I want in the coming year. I like to write out my thoughts and my answers to these questions not with any goal in mind, but just to get it out of my head and onto paper. Sometimes our thoughts seem to be on autopilot and I like to slow down and ask myself if my thoughts are bringing me closer to my goals. Spending this time alone in nature with the sound of the river next to me is just the perfect time to do this type of work. So I spent the rest of the afternoon writing, reading a book, and playing in the water. Balancing stones is becoming one of my favorite activities. It seems totally impossible to balance stones in this way, 
but I'm finding that with a little bit of practice, it does become easier. Like it's starting to feel actually doable. <laughs> I can start to feel kind of when the rocks almost become weightless as they're balancing on this tiny little point. It requires all of your focus on the present moment and the willingness to start over a million times. I'm sure I'll get it one day. For dinner, I'm having this salad here with some chicken sausage that I just fried up in the pan. And then it has cucumbers, tomatoes, pickled onions, because I'm obsessed with pickled onions. And I'm gonna have two bowls of this. So I'll eat this and then I'll refill the bowl again and have a second serving just because I'm pretty hungry. Now, you know that I cannot go anywhere without chocolate. <laughs> so I'm having for dessert a little dark chocolate pecan coconut Tony's Chocoloonie and it's so good. Nick does not like dark chocolate so we always buy milk chocolate when we're like sharing a bar but since Nick is not here I went with the dark chocolate and it's not even that dark. This is only 51% so I always love to end my day with just something sweet. <sighs> here we go. The moment when you open a fresh bar of chocolate. Gold, yes. Look at all this goodness. It is, I'm pretty sure, just like seven o'clock. <laughs> and I am in the tent, exhausted. So I'm just kind of getting things organized. I have so much warmth because I think it's gonna get really cold tonight. It is October in the mountains. So I'm just gonna get everything kind of organized and then read my book for a couple hours and then go to sleep. I actually brought two books on this trip because I'm the kind of weirdo that likes to read multiple books at the same time. And I just kind of like pick which one I feel like reading. I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it is time to get out of the tent. That's the thing about camping when it's cold out is you end up spending so much time in the tent. I've been in here for like 12 hours. <sighs> there is a cow nearby as well. I've been hearing it moo. Now I'm ready for some coffee, so it's time to get out of the tent. <laughs> I decided to go for a little walk before I made some coffee because it's just so beautiful and quiet out here. There's no one else around and the sun is just barely hitting the mountains. It's just so beautiful to watch. The smell of fresh sage is one of my favorite scents on the planet. It's just me and the cows out here. There they are.
I have a hot cup of coffee. The sun is here. Mm. This is what I'm having for breakfast here. I have some Greek yogurt and some homemade granola. Super simple and quick, no cook, delicious. <laughs> I just made a very strong cup of coffee. It is like gonna make me shake, I think. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not like, I have like a very, the way I do it, I'm used to making coffee for both me and Nick at the same time. So my coffee bean measurements were way off. Oh well, <laughs> yes. All right, woohoo, here we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish packing everything up and then hit the road. This has been just the best little adventure. I really came into this with no idea what to expect. I just wanted to get away for a night, have some alone time, and it ended up just being better than I could have imagined. And I really want to come back and do this basically exact same trip with Nick because it's just so beautiful here. It's nice to go on long trips for multi-day and like explore all these new places that are just far from home. But I also really love these shorter trips with no expectations, just one night close to home. It just feels good. It's really not about how far you go or how long you go. And for me, like the benefits definitely increase exponentially when I do spend multi days outside camping and hiking. But for just a short little one night reset, I mean, this has just been amazing. I feel so good. I'm gonna head home today and then basically just edit video the rest of the day. That's pretty much what I do all day when I'm at home. <laughs> if there's stuff that you want to see, just let me in the, know in the comments below. I do write down your comments when you, when you give me video ideas and stuff. I have a long list of video ideas and so I am here for you and I appreciate you. I hope you have an awesome week. Peace.